Hello everyone. This is a continuation of our previous form material. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. I will give a link in the description below. So, in this tutorial, we are going to create this tiger fur using the fur material we created in the previous tutorial. So, I forgot to say something in that tutorial and if you look at it, you can see this white color artifacts and I will show you what is causing it. So, open it up. So, here in the normal map from height map node, I forgot, I forgot to plug in this uh, constant 1 into the normal map intensity. You can also uh, give a parameter, scalar parameter and change it in the instance. I am just going to give a constant value of 1 then apply. and save it is taking a while for some reason I don't know so now you cannot see that white artifacts so someone also asked me how to vary the length of the hairs on the same mesh so a simple way to do that is by using masks so here um, I have this linear gradient if I start previewing this you can see the gradient so the color changes from black to white I am going to multiply this with the height ratio and click apply so now after it compiles you can see that the hair on the top side is shorter and the hair on the bottom is um, longer because the gradient kind of uh, has a black value on the top and a, a white value on, or the value of one on the bottom so the maximum height input height ratio we give will be on the white value and the height ratio will be zero in the black region and in between it will be the values between zero and one so you can easily create a mask with that to control the length of the fur now let's get into the creation of the tiger fur so I am just going to delete this and connect it to the height ratio. So we are going to change this texture with our tiger fur material, I mean fur texture. So I had a tiger fur from Google. So I am just going to drag and drop that in. Now I am going to delete our old texture. We don't need this hue shift anymore. So I am going to delete that also. And I will connect this to here. Now the problem is that uh, if we connect this parallax UV here. If we change this styling, uh, this styling also changes. So we don't really want that to happen. So in order to fix that. We need to add a texture coordinate. So press and hold U and click so we get this texture coordinate. Then press and hold M and click so we get this multiply and connect this to multiply. And we are going to create a new scalar parameter to control the tiling of this texture. So press and hold S and click so we get this scalar parameter. I will change this to text tiling. Remember not to name this tiling because we already have tiling here. 
now we are going to connect this to here I will give it a default value of 1 then we will divide this value by this value so right click and type in divide and connect this to A and connect this tiling to B now we multiply this with the offset so press and hold M and click so we get this multiply and connect with connect this here and connect the offset only to B then we are just going to add both of them together so press and hold A and click so we get this add and connect this to here and connect this to here and connect this to the UV then apply and save for some reason this is taking too long so now we have our new tiger fur I already created an instance for it I will do it again so right click the new tiger fur then create instance and I will just drag and drop this in here and in here now we will uh, change the settings a bit so I will change the height ratio then I will change the uh, tiling of the height texture so we get finer looking fur so don't worry about this artifacts if you press play it won't be there so you can play around with this numbers till you get a look you want this things has a cost to it so be a bit careful when changing this value so this is a bit of an expensive material now this far material has some issues and I will try to improve it in the future I am just going to make it a little bit more finer so yeah so that's it guys um, thanks for watching this tutorial video if you have any suggestions for future tutorial leave it in the comments below and as always thanks for watching subscribe for more videos like this thanks